2.7 is called function operations and that's on pages 93 to 100 in your text. Our curriculum outcome today is to extend understanding of functions including algebraic functions, transcendental functions, and piecewise functions including absolute value. And our lesson objective is number one, to recall the basics of combining functions by adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing functions, as well as function composition. And number two, to recall how the domain of a combined function is related to the domain of the original functions. So recall from pre-calculus 30 that functions can be added, subtracted, multiplied, and divided just like numbers are. And when we do this with the graphs of these functions, we really just add, subtract, multiply, and divide the y values of the functions. This means that if the original function doesn't exist somewhere, i.e., has a restriction on its domain, then the new function also cannot exist there. We can also do something called function composition, and that's when we take one function and plug it into the other. f of g of x means that we take the g of x function and plug it into the f of x function. And make sure to factor in our restrictions on the original function's domains and the restrictions of the new function's domain when stating your final domain. So for example, if we had two functions here and one of them was in red and that's a line like this and it has a specific domain and one of them is a green function from here to here and it has a specific domain that means that our new function whether we're adding subtracting multiplying or dividing these functions or plugging one to the other the new functions domains cannot exist outside of where these two domains exist and more specifically it has to be it'll be restricted to in between this point here and this point here. So these two x values, because since the green function doesn't exist to the left or the right of that, then our new combined function can't exist to the left or the right of that. So example, find the equations and domain for f of g of x and g of f of x, if f of x equals x squared minus one, g of x equals x minus three. So one of the things I like to do right off the bat when I see that it's a function combination question is I'm gonna just state my domains right off the bat. So the domain here, for a par parabolic function or a quadratic function is just negative infinity to positive infinity. No big deal. It's not a rational function. It's not a radical function. It's not a log function. So we're good to go. But over here, our domain's a little bit different. Our domain can't be three. So that means it's going to be everything from negative infinity to positive three. And, or I guess that's the or sign, three to positive infinity. And that makes a big deal, because when we're finding the domain for f of g of x and g of f of x, we need to take this do these domains into consideration. So now f of g of x just means that we're going to take the g of x function and plug it into f of x. So really, we're just doing this. And what this means is that we, every time that we see an x in our f of x function, we're going to put in 4 minus x, 4 divided by x minus 3, sorry, instead. So I get 4 divided by x minus 3 squared minus 1, which is just 16 over x minus 3 squared minus 1. So now when I'm finding the domain of this thing, I need to just consider this function itself and the originals. Now this function, because it's a rational function, can't exist at 3, and neither could our original here. So that means our domain in this case is going to be the same thing as it was before, negative infinity to 3 and 3 to infinity. Now, for g of f of x, things might be a little bit different because now I'm taking my g of x function and I'm plugging in x squared minus 1. So that means I now get 4 over x squared minus 1 minus 3, which is 4 over x squared minus 4. Now there's a different restriction in my domain. I know it, that uh, this function has two vertical asymptotes, one at positive 2, one at negative 2. And that means that it can't exist at 2 or negative 2, and the original couldn't exist at 3, so that means my new function isn't going to exist at positive 2, negative 2, or negative 3, or, sorry, positive 3. So my new domain is going to be everything from negative infinity to negative 2, and then it can go from negative 2 to positive 2, and then it can go from positive 2 to 3, and then it can go from 3 to infinity. So this just says it can't exist at negative 2, it can't exist at 2, and it can't exist at 3. So in summary, functions can be combined by adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, and function composition. The domains of the original functions always have an effect on the domain of the combined function, and the new function cannot exist in places where the original functions didn't exist. So your assignment is on pages 105 to 107. Good luck, and we'll see you in class.